just wanted to come back with a quick tutorial here today. Um, this right here is one of those tuna cans, and I'm basically going to plant some succulents in it. I have one that's already completed right here. And this is just a little um, assortment of succulents. Um, focus very well. There we go. Okay, so this succulent right here is called Sedum Firestorm. You can see right there. And then this one is called Aloe, Lemon, and Lime. I'm sorry, that's a good Aloe, Lemon, and Lime. And I'm sorry for my voice, but I'm currently sick. <coughs> so, this uh, winter is really getting to me. And then this cute little one right here is called a Blue Elf Sedevaria. Focus, camera focus. There we go. And uh, it's basically really cold and rainy and wet outside. And that does not mean that we cannot still be garden warriors and have a little fun inside with our plants. So I went to the store and I bought this lovely assortment from uh, Home Depot. And uh, I'm going to turn these tuna cans into a little planter like so. So, to get started, first we want to decorate the... Oh, first you want to actually uh, wash the inside, make sure there's no junk on it. You want to peel off the label, and don't worry about this because we're going to cover it with the decoration. <coughs> and you can decorate it with whatever you want, ribbon, um, um, beads, whatever you want. It's all up to you and your creativity. I have chosen to use this. Hold on a second. I gotta get it out of the package. I found this uh, trim at Joann's for 99 cents a yard. And I think I had a 50% off coupon, so I might have got it for 50 cents a yard. But it's basically just a little decorative trim here. And uh, it's not too expensive. And then basically what I did was I got out my hot glue gun here. And it's going to be hard to do this because I have to hold the camera here. Mm -mm -mm. Um, okay. So I just made a bead along here with glue. And then I started this right here. And hold on a second. I can't hold the camera and do this too. Let me get it started here for you, and then I will come back in frame. There we go. Okay. So I got it started for you right here. <clears throat> I just ran a bead of hot glue along the edge. I gotta get a little tripod for my phone here. So I can do this easier. Alright, and you just run a bead along here. Uh -oh. Alright, and then you just wrap this all around like so. And you just lightly tap it down like that. And then you continue around the entire perimeter <clears throat> until you get to the next row. And then when you get to here, hold on a second. Let me do this real quick. Now before I forget, if you like this video, as terrible as it is, uh, smash the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then you can hit the subscribe button, please. Okay, so here we are. Now I've gone all the way around the perimeter, right, just right below the um, edge right here. 
Oh, and the other thing is, before you start doing this, make sure the inside of this is not sharp because you can cut your fingers. Um, most modern uh, <coughs> can openers will cut it flush and smooth right here so that you won't cut yourself. So, yay technology. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Whew, I gotta get a tripod for this camera. Because this is extremely difficult without it. Okay, so for this next line, you just want to come under this first one and start your new line of beading right here. And just dip it right under there, like so. And then you continue around the perimeter, around the perimeter, and just keep moving down and down and down until you have this entire thing covered. And uh, I've completed one right here. And you can see I've gone all the way around. And then just to put a, another little um, detail on it and to cover up some spots that didn't turn out really well, I've affixed these wooden butterflies to this with some hot glue and um, I think it's a cute little decoration and you can see they're in different positions because there's little areas that were imperfect um, so I wanted to cover them up and then this is going to be really hard to do because I don't have any way to get soil so this is the soil that I chose and I found this at uh, Home Depot as well. It's miracle Grow Cactus, Palm, and Citrus Potting Mix. Um, you could basically just use regular miracle Grow potting mix, too. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, where's my little cup? And then I just use this little cup that I have, and I scoop a little bit up here. And then I just plop it down in there. And move that to the side. Ready. Now, you want to gently move this out of the way. And since succulents are crazy, crazy expensive, make sure you buy a container that has many succulents in it and then you can divide it out like so and be very gentle when you're pulling these apart you don't want to tear up the roots too bad and then you just plop it down in there and you firm the soil around it And then we can get, uh, we can put this one back in its little container there. We can bring this one over. And we're just going to gently tease this apart. Get the frame here. Anyway, I've been sick for about five weeks now and whatever it is I have it goes away and then it comes back two or three days later and I'm sick once again so it's been a fun winter thus far okay so then we're gonna just put this right in there and let me get the soil firmed up around the roots here Make sure you um, squish it down in there pretty good so that it's stable.
Uh, excuse me. Whew, this has definitely not been a fun uh, month of my life. Okay, so now we're going to take this cute little pinkish red one. It's an Escavaria Pearl Von Nuremberg. Ooh, that sounds fancy. We're just going to slip it out of the container here. Now, since these are a lot taller, as you can see, than the container that we're going to put them in, we need to tease the roots, the soil from the roots, as gently as possible. You don't want to tear up the root system too bad because succulents don't really have a large root system. Um, let's see. Let's move this whole shabille to a different some bird poo on there. That's nice. The great thing about Lowe's and Home Depot is that they actually have a large bird population flying around inside the um, stores. And uh, they try to keep them out, but they don't really do that great of a job. So we're going to get some more soil here. Smoosh it down in there really good so everything looks like it's all nice and firmed up and stable. And this is definitely a, um, a good project to do with your kids if your kids are bored and climbing the walls and irritating you. You know, just put them to work recycling some. Uh, Containers that you have around the house, and uh, you can use any container. You don't have to use a tuna container. Um, succulents are so—they're um, not needy like other plants. You know, they're very kind of leave me alone and don't water me too much, and I'll do just fine without you. Now I don't like how high this plant is sitting, so I'm going to take some more soil off of these roots. Try to move more of this soil out of the way so we can get it further down. And we're going to take this leaf off of here. This one too. We're going to put it right back down in there. You don't necessarily have to put a succulent at the same depth at which it was grown because they root wherever the soil hits them. It's a great thing about succulents. And as long as you don't get them too deep, up to the first leaf, wherever the first leaf is, is just fine. And uh, that's looking pretty good. And don't worry about any soil right here. You can use a, a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, to clean that off. Um, and if you wanted to, you could put decorative rocks on here. I actually have some decorative rocks somewhere, but I don't know where they are. That's probably something I will add later. Uh, you can use the decorative rocks to hold the soil down so it's easier to water them. As far as watering goes, I would do it once a month. And you could just stick your finger right on here. Stick your finger right on the soil. And... Um, See if it's wet, and if it's wet, don't do don't water it. Just tell yourself no, 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 no water. And if it's uh, completely dry, then that's when you would want to water. And I bet you all of that that I just did was not in frame, so you probably didn't see any of it. But I have one more can that I'm going to do, and I will. Come back in a second and try to plant that one too. Get all that down in there. There's a little spot right here. Now these little cans are great for window sills. 
um, you want to put this in as much light as you could possibly put it in because succulents are highlight plants and uh, when you water this the first time since the mixture is so dry you're going to want to do it very slowly and make sure the um, soil and you can tell the difference in moisture between this one that I've already watered you see how dark that soil is and moist you just stick your finger right on there and it's really moist and then this is really dry so you can tell the difference just by looking at it and touching it <clears throat> but anyway back to the sunlight I put these in a windowsill facing the south or west and they will do just fine and they will grow just fine this container will be good for probably a year maybe two before you have to repot it into a larger container uh, succulents really don't grow that fast and they don't have large root systems so you could leave it in this tiny little thing for a very long time um, what else don't fertilize very much succulents don't like a lot of fertilizer I would maybe do it maybe twice a year and do a very dilute solution um, what else other than that succulents are pretty easy peasy um, they don't really need a lot of care and attention and uh, I guess that's it for today if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can um, what else oh yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the uh, bell notification so that you can see anytime I upload a new video and uh, Merry Christmas to all you garden warriors out there. Don't let the uh, snow get you down. Spring is on the way. Alright, love you all. Have a great Christmas.